to the Charbon Report. I'm Michael A. Charbon. Today's title, Fox News Canadian Ban? Is Newsmax next? The CRTC, the Canadian Radio and Television and Telecommunications Commission, regulates broadcasting in Canada. It's taking public submissions for the removal of Fox News from Canadian airwaves due to a submission from Eagle Canada, an LGBT advocacy group who called for public consultation. Eagle represents that Fox's Tucker Carlson tonight aimed to incite violence, made incendiary, false and horrifying claims about LGBTQ people, painting them as violent and dangerous and provoking hatred against trans people. Eagle represents that Fox's programming is a violation of broadcast standards and has no place on Canadian TV because it produces malicious propaganda against marginalized groups. So this claim came after Tucker's coverage of the Nashville shooting, who, alone or by, a lone wolf psychopath who entered a private Christian elementary covenant school with premeditation and a manifesto, went on to assassinate three adults and three children. The fact that the shooter identified as transgender from female to male is what ignited this controversy. So consider a Catholic school as a target and a transgender shooter under medication for mental and gender reassignment? The question arises, is this shooting a hate crime? That's a legitimate question. The sickening uh, incidence was widely commented on due to the fact that the transgender shooter is an anomaly. It's an anomaly. It's not normal, one would say. Being a shooter is normal. The Rockefeller Institute, a respected public policy think tank, published stats that from 1966 to 2020, of the 402 terrible mass shootings, 95.7% were male shooters. Males. Hence, why a transgender shooter is an abnormality. The debate about trans shooters was correlated on April 7th as Colorado police, well, they arrested a transgender 19-year-old male identifying as Lily and charged him with felony criminal attempt to commit murder in the first degree with allegations of planning attacks on three schools in Colorado Springs, avoiding what police described as a mass school shooting. You know, in a free democratic society, an organization is within their rights to challenge and legally object to anyone they believe is defaming them. That's a legal fight to be decided in a court of law, not a fight to uh, eliminate an entire news organization's ability to broadcast their signal to a free nation. Reality is, American news, well, it's polarized and at times inflamed with political ideology. Conservative-leaning news organizations like Fox and Newsmax, they're few in comparison, very few, to the overwhelming majority of U.S. news organizations who identify left or democratically leaning. So let's take May 10th, just the other day. Chairman James Comer's House Oversight Committee had a 50-minute news conference on allegations of a $10 million influence peddling scheme by the Biden administration. It was covered live by Fox and Newsmax. But NBC and CBS and ABC, their evening news, not even a mention of Comer's uh, press conference. They determined that his committee's findings, I guess they weren't newsworthy. CNN, for the whole morning, was with the Santos story and followed it with a one-hour multi-panel discussion. They did include the Comer story at a minimum length well after the press conference, but you can see the difference. And for the record, both Fox and Newsmax, they featured significant stories on the Santos indictment. One can also point to the suppression of the Hunter laptop issue in the last election and America's open or, no, sorry, it's good to close border, says Alejandro, claiming that the border is safe and closed. It's not. This is all polarized and one-sided coverage. Consider a Canadian basic cable. Okay, this package includes CNN as the default American cable news, not Fox. To view Fox News, a viewer must purchase a separate additional per month charge on basic cable or select Fox as a flex choice option in a premium package. The result is a Canadian with basic cable is unable to view a conservative news perspective or Fox News. So. Painting a complete news organization like Fox as rogue and attempting to eliminate its broadcast is wrong and dangerous.
Fox paid dearly regarding the Dominion lawsuit and that it was adjudicated in court and meted out almost $800 million is a huge financial penalty. With the potential of the CRTC banning Fox, does that mean other conservative news organizations like Newsmax are in peril too? So, full disclosure, for almost two years now, I'm Newsmax's Canadian correspondent, and Newsmax as of late has had a tremendous increase in viewership since Tucker's departure. But unlike Fox, Newsmax is available on the internet and through Roku, and through a Roku among many other platforms. The question remains, is Newsmax next to me banned because they're conservative too? Canadians, we should petition the CRTC for a more balanced news coverage and demand that Fox and Newsmax be on basic cable. You know, eyeballs determine a network's survival. With no viewers, the network has to change its brand. And the market recently made a seismic choice on brand with Bud Light. There was no ban on that beer. The market determined that uh, the brand did not reflect their values and abandoned the former number one bestseller. So, does a single host's perspective, who by the way is no longer on Fox, legitimize the elimination of an entire network? No, it doesn't. The CRTC should not ban Fox News. Stay out of the politics. Don't deny a nation, a free nation, the right to watch the news they decide to watch. Please share, like, and subscribe. Leave a comment below and go to thesharbonreport.com for more episodes wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Michael A. Charbon. God bless and stay safe.